Unfortunately, I keep coming across people who ignore me. Oftentimes, the transgression or ignorance actually came from the other person. But I end up being the guilty party. I now see better that I have been ignoring myself and should stop doing that. But the pain of being misunderstood is great. I trust these people so much. I trust in, we will do that. What could I do that I don't fall for people like that? Hello. Thank you for your question. I think to, you know, get to the bottom of what could I do that I don't fall for people like that, I think that you would do well to speak with a specialist that, you know, understands behavior and psychology if you really want to change that pattern. You know, really speak to someone who can help you understand why you do it, why they do it, why you fall for them. I don't think through non-duality you'll necessarily get the answers to that. You might get the answers to that if you really can go deep into your feelings and your emotions solo and really see them without seeking. But often when seeking's there, everything becomes clouded and muddled. So we, um, we need somebody else to point it out. And so somebody that specializes in behavior could really um, enlighten you. Now, you. I'm not talking about having to go to therapy for the next 10 years. I'm just, a few sessions might help illuminate that. If you go on my website, at the bottom of the reference page, there is um, psychologists that know about non-duality. There's also lots of other different workers on there that aren't psychologists that you might find helpful. But And there's a reference page that you can click on that you can also type in exactly what you're looking for. Yeah. So. But if we come back to non-duality, you know, the problem isn't whether people ignore you or don't ignore you. But I'm not saying don't explore that. Like, so this isn't about bypassing anything. I'm, I'm encouraging you to ex actually to explore it. But if we come to non-duality, and this is why non-duality gets a bad rep, because non-duality isn't so much about psychology or fixing the person. But if we come to a non-duality perspective, it's about the seeking. So seeking is creating identity and believing that your freedom is found in your identity and in what your identity values. So the first seeking is, I am a body. That might not feel like a seeking, but it is a seeking. You're seeking to be something. There's not a contentment with what you are, and there's a seeking to be a defined form. So that doesn't feel like a seeking, but it is. And then I am a name. And person moving in time, and person who likes things or doesn't like things, and all of it is seeking to maintain an identity and to maintain seeking. And the goal of seeking is to find freedom in seeking, which will never be found ever. You can't find seeking, the end of seeking in seeking. It's it's like a never-ending loop doesn't end. So from a non-duality perspective, you could look at of what am I seeking from other people? Like when this happens, and when it's occurring, what am I seeking? What am I seeking to maintain? And where is that seeking coming from? So when you kind of have some sort of concept like I'm seeking to be loved or I'm seeking to not feel shame or I'm seeking to be a good girl or I'm seeking to be seen or I'm seeking to be understood. When you understand that, you can take it back even further to wanting to avoid death or get to love, which are kind of the same thing. 
And then you can ask, where is that coming from? Who is that coming from? You know, taking it right down to the core of what yourself is. And you're, the, the core of the seeking is trying to avoid death and get to love. That's the goal. So I am a body. And then you, you're trying to avoid death by being a body. And then you're trying to get to love by being a body that's better than other people. So, um, so you come down to those initial seekings and then where is it that that comes from? And in that there will be feelings and emotions. So you might be like, oh, it comes from my heart area. And that's really beautiful. But even deeper, where does it come from? And then you might see that the core of you comes from nothing. And that nothing is who you are. It's love. When you're identified with the person, it feels like the opposite to love because you feel like you've lost that. But at the bottom, underneath all the other stuff is the love, the emptiness and the love. When you tell the truth, I'm really into that at the moment, tell the truth, then it's love and emptiness. So from a non-duality perspective, go beyond. But from a psychological perspective, I would, you know, really, a lot of people that I meet, especially in non-duality, are really ashamed of going to psychologists because they feel like they're bad. And maybe they've also had bad experiences because sometimes maybe they're more educated or know a lot more than the psychologist. So you have to like fish around to try and find someone that suits you. Um, and yeah, explore these things. And there's also other people that aren't psychologists, psychics that could help go beyond that, all different types of people that can help that exploration. But non duality isn't really about understanding yourself, it's going beyond yourself. But I can understand how sometimes you have to first understand yourself to go beyond yourself, because otherwise you're just lost in the confusion and in the fog. So sometimes these things have to be answered to arrest something. Yeah. Thank you so much for your question. Yeah, I just so appreciate sharing in silence with people or in love with people. Sharing in love with people. Isn't that beautiful? I feel more safe to do that because I know the questioner is a female. And and sorry to say that, but just because there's been miss communication and misunderstanding because i'm sure language also plays a part and there's a lot of people that's first language isn't english and believing that it's a personal love but it's not a personal love but i just so want to speak about love that we are meeting in love that's what it is to be in love inside a love to both communicate from emptiness to see god in each other to see love in each other but not personal thing, not a, I want to marry you and settle down and all those types of things. It's got nothing to do with that. <laughs>